Hey everybody, Brett from Sorry's Gaming here, back with another episode of our Empire Total War Let's Play. So, last time around, we managed to take Huron territory from the British. Uh, it was a pretty big fight. If you guys missed it, I definitely recommend going back and checking it out, because it was one of the more hectic battles we've fought so far. And probably the only one where I honestly felt like we may not win it until, uh, you know, things started to go our way. But yeah, they hit us hard with all the uh, cavalry they had. And it just got really, really hectic. So um, definitely recommend taking a look at that if you didn't watch the previous episode. Um, but yeah, so we need to start developing all this land that we own now. So um, they've got a chapter or a church school. We could upgrade it to a chapter school, but they've already converted everything to 100% Protestant Protestantism. So I don't know that we necessarily will, at least not yet. I should probably clear these two. So her own territory is mine. Uh, Bavaria has been destroyed. Okay, so we got some traits and ancillaries. Our other brig is done. And two mills and a military academy are finished. Excuse me. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. I don't see why not. And then over here, I think it'll be worth turning that into a steam pump. Steam pumped gold mine. Oh, yeah, definitely. And that leaves us enough for, like, one more upgrade. So, I don't know where I want to spend it. We could do here. We could give Montreal a state capital. What else could we do? Well, I need to start moving these guys, I suppose. How's that navy looking? Yeah, that's a lot better. So, we'll take our army. Have them embark. I'm really hoping these guys will be enough to take Newfoundland. I imagine they will, but remains to be seen. One, two, three, four, five, six, minute man. Okay. We'll accept that. And we're going to start sailing to Newfoundland. We'll stick to the uh, trade route here. Okay. Okay. Oh. I don't know what's going on here. I guess the game just didn't like being panned out that far. Nope, still doesn't like it. There we go. Okay. So we've got 40... A little under 4,400 gold left to spend. Uh, let's see. What, what does our uh, replenishment cost look like? Because these guys got hit hard. As you can see, like, we actually lost a couple cavalry units entirely. The uh, Minutemen didn't fare too badly. What's that going to cost me? Oh, only 1800 that's not too bad. They're actually still full, so we don't need to do them. We'll do that one. Yes, sir. These guys, other than the general, or not the general, I'm going to call him a captain. Uh, Thomas Brown. So other than Thomas Brown's unit, they really didn't take any losses. Uh, the cavalry did though. So let's see, one, two, three. That's gonna do it. Okay, we'll hang on to the rest. Let's take a look at our diplomacy and our research, and uh, then we'll end this turn. So we do have another trade slot open. Should probably try to give it to. I thought we were trading with the Prussians. Let's try it again. Um, rejected. Okay. We trade with the Ottomans. Let's try that. What are they going to say? For a single payment of 220 gold, why not? Okay, so we're trading with the Ottomans now. We should uh, see a little bit more income from that. I think that's going to be it. Yeah, we don't have any more trade slots. So... Let's talk to... No, we don't have enough gold to pull that off. I was going to try to buy some tech, but we don't have enough money. Did we ever swap this guy out? We didn't. I totally forgot to do that. Let's give him the boot, and we'll get Gabriel Waller in there, who's significantly better. Popularity is on its way up. That's good. Research. Okay, I've got two more turns on the... Lime juice and sauerkraut to help prevent scurvy. And eight more turns on uh, 
What was that one? Wealth of Nations. So, I think that's going to be it for this turn. I don't see anything else that's, you know, pressing need. Oh! I can think of something. We're going to take our agent, Lindsey Burke, here. Start sending him over to Moose Factory. I'm going to get the scoop on what's over there. Depending on what they have, I may just send uh, Thomas Brown to deal with it. But yeah, we will uh, decide that when we when we have a little bit more information. I don't know who I want to send to uh, York Factory down there. If um, if I get the feeling, or if we're able to send our rake down there and look at it, and they're pretty weak, we might just have him deal with it and leave uh, leave Nathaniel Green's army to uh, kind of garrison the western frontier here. I wish there were an easier way to, uh, oh, I can cross there. Okay, that's good to know. I can cross right here and walk down to uh, Michigan. All right, well, going to end the turn. See you guys in the next one. Wow, look at that income. 100 and, or sorry, 12,500 gold. That's pretty good. I mean, that wasn't entirely income. We obviously left a little bit over, but we have a ton now. So I'm going to upgrade the uh, new port we got last time in Carolina. And that should mean that this one is done as well. Or, which one was it? This one. Yes, yeah, so we're going to upgrade that to a dockyard. I think Montreal deserves a state capital, because it's a fairly big province. And, what did we have left over here? Do we really need a chapter school in Montreal? Um, no, I think that'll be adequate. We'll let that do its thing as far as conversion goes, and then we will uh, demolish it and turn it into a, another uh, university for research. Okay, Mr. Rake, why don't you go see what's going on over here? Hmm, yeah, I think uh, Thomas Brown will be able to handle this one on his own. How are we doing here? That's been repaired, so we can recruit again. Hmm, do we need anything else? I don't really feel like we do. I'm going to start sending them this way. They don't have any artillery, but I think we'll be fine. That's worth upgrading, too. Uh, do they have any more towns? I don't think so. I think they've all been... Uh, they've all been revealed, or whatever you want to call it. Michigan still has one. Yeah, just the one. Hmm. How... Oh, the Cherokee pulled that off. Interesting. So the Florida now belongs to the Cherokee, but the Spanish took Chicasa from the Cherokee, so they basically just swapped territories. We'll keep an eye on how that plays out, because I would rather not have to declare war on the Spanish. But I might have to if they conquer the Cherokee. So are we out of money? I think we're pretty much out. Yeah, I could upgrade that, but that would be everything I have. So let's not do that. Not going to upgrade that one. We're going to let it do its thing and then replace it. So I think that just leaves us with... Our naval assault over here. They have a port. Oh, they're sending in a navy. We could take them though. We have a much better navy. We gotta be very cautious though, because we do have um, troops aboard, so we don't want to uh, have our whole army drown. But let's see. Sloop, brig, sloop. Sloop. We have a carronade frigate, two six, sorry, a sixth rate, a fifth rate, a sixth rate. So yeah, several six, four sixth rates, a fifth rate, um, two brigs, and the carronade. So I think we can win this. I think it's probably best to just nip it in the bud. So let's go after them. And then we're going to uh, hit them here. 
Alright, I'm gonna quick save. And I suppose we'll fight this one out. I am not very good at naval combat in Total War, but it's been a long time since I've played Empire, so I might be decent at this naval combat. But yeah, let's go ahead and fight this out. Alright, so I should probably familiarize myself with my ships before I get to this. You guys have real wide, or sorry, real long broadside arcs. These are all the sixth rates, I believe. What do we got up here? That's the Carinade frigate. What does the Carinade do differently? I honestly have no idea. But that's the Admiral. Let's see, we got a brig. Why is the Admiral not on the Admiral's flagship? I wonder. I'm gonna let the flagship take point. Is there like preset formations I can do here? So that would be ideal. No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, well. We have the Briggs flanking. Because they're smaller and faster. The uh, sixth rates are going to take up the middle. Where's the other one? There it is. And then the uh, Admiral's going to hang behind the fifth rate. Okay, I need to pause, because I have no idea. Okay, so they're straight ahead. That's everybody, right? Oh, there is group formations. Oh, well. Right, let's just get this moving. I'm gonna speed things up here. We're gonna go straight at them, at least for now. Hmm. Probably just do regular shot for now. I don't know what the best tactics are for stuff like this. Again, I haven't played Empire in a long time. And I'm not that great at naval combat, and this is our first naval combat of this particular playthrough, so. We'll see what works and what doesn't. But yeah, I'm gonna go straight at them for now. We have superior firepower, so. I think we'll be alright here, but we obviously don't want to lose any ships, especially if we don't need to. They're starting to fire at us. Oh, wow. They took some damage there. Did he take out my sails? Okay. So, you're going to start breaking hard left. Or right, sorry. Obviously right. I think everybody is, in fact. They can start firing straight ahead. Let's have everybody break this way. They're going to swing a little bit wide and try to come around the other side, I suppose. Okay, they're starting to fire here. Let's see if any of those land. Yeah, we actually took out some guns there, so that worked out pretty well for us. You guys need to start turning harder. And let's fire broadside left. Now. Oh, whoops. Missed our chance there. What do I need to press? Oh, it's not ready. That's why. Come on, turn harder. Wait for it. See if any of those hit. Are you guys ready yet? I'm gonna have them turn this way. Ready. Oh, too, too hard, too hard. Come back. Okay, now turn and let them have it. You 
You guys need to start turning a lot harder than that. I don't know how well we're doing here, to be honest. You're just going to come straight back this way, I think. I'm going to go chain shot and try to disable this one. Oh. No, just keep going straight. Keep going straight for now. I think he's going to overrun him. What, what are you doing? Go this way. Yeah, he's going to outrun me. Did that hit? I don't think that hit. We'll just go back to regular. Oh wait, no, we went round shot. Whoops. I'm actually going to have him cut through, because this isn't working too well. probably just let these guys do it. <laughs> probably should have auto resolved it. But uh, I assume you guys want to see a little bit of naval combat, so come on, turn, turn, turn. There's one. Get a full broadside on him. He's going to outrun it though. Most of it. Actually several of those hit. You need to turn even harder. Let's see if we can get around fast enough. Oh, he's taking too long. Go, turn, turn, turn. You do the same. Okay. It's not going so well. Oh, you got a broadside ready. Let's let them have that. Oh, a lot of those hit. That's good. Gonna get a right side broadside ready on this one. Oh, they're gonna get hit pretty hard there, though. They're not ready yet, great. Neither are you guys. Maybe they already fired it. We're just getting hammered on this side, though. Luckily, we have way more guns than them. Not that we're putting them to good use. Get him ready on the left side. Do the same here. What's happening on this side? Are you ready to fire? Yes, you are. Any of those hit? Yeah, come on, keep it going. He's going to peek out just in time to give him one of those. Come on, reload, reload. They're going to ram me, but not if I turn and give them a face full of cannon first. Those are not all going to hit, but quite a few of them. Let's get back to uh, full speed here, just so we can get some cool sound effects. Are you guys ready yet? You better not have run into each other. A lot of those hit, but it doesn't look like it's enough. Shoot, are they stuck? They're stuck. Wow, they are wrecking my shit over here. These guys are all disabled because they don't have any sails. Probably what I should have been doing, but... What can you do? Oh, they're still moving, actually. They're not dead in the water just yet. Come on, turn it, turn it. If we can get around, we can give them a huge volley. Uh-oh. Oh, oh en the enemy admiral died, okay. 
they're not ready to fire yet, of course. Continue to turn. Come on. I think we turned a little bit too hard there. Alright, he is done. I'm gonna go grape shot, actually. Yeah, if that wasn't enough to do it, I don't know what is. But yeah, I think we've got this one wrapped up. I don't think we actually lost any shifts, we just got pretty beat up. Which, I don't know that that's any better, but... There. Come on. Fire that one. I don't know if any of those will hit. Uh, a couple of them did. Give another broadside there. They're starting to retreat. Come on, keep them coming. That one's going to take a while. They still have their sails, unfortunately. Uh, okay, battle's over. Cool. Alright, so we sunk four of four. We didn't lose any ships, although we did get damaged a bit. So let's accept that. Their little navy there goes down. And we're going to start moving in toward the port here, because that's our main goal. We're going to take the port, deliver the troops. The troops are going to take Newfoundland, which is unguarded, so it shouldn't be that difficult. Uh, what else happened? Looks like Abner Bassett got quite a few uh, traits from that one. And a bunch of buildings are done. But we are out of money, so... Let's go ahead and end this turn, and we'll come back in the next one. Okay, guys, so we've got a little bit of time left before we end this episode. One of our researches, researches, one of our technologies is finished researching, um, so we need to choose a new one. Uh, John Sullivan is also a drunkard now, and Ian Stibbert, who's one of our gentlemen, I think, has no sense of shame. Good for him. They want me to upgrade this. I don't know that I want to spend that much money, though. What are the differences? Dry dock. Oh, steam. Dry dock. Interesting. That lets me build, like, ironclads and stuff. First rates, heavy first rates, steamships. Very interesting. Okay. Oh, they're sending in more uh, ships. That's not good. That's not good at all. We need to get to here, like now. And let's go ahead and deliver the troops we brought. Okay. So now we have an army ready to fight. We're going to take this without any trouble. Let's just auto-resolve it. There's really no point in fighting that. Virtue and valor unconquered. Lost eight men in the in the battle there. So Newfoundland is now mine. We're gonna go ahead and repair it. How's the infrastructure look? We need some kind of roads. What do we got here? College of Divinity. They're already 100% Protestant, so I don't know that that's really worth keeping around. Uh, let's upgrade the farms. Fur exchange is already maxed out. Got a lumber mill that's maxed out. Okay, so yeah, I mean, we got Newfoundland now. Oh, we need to fix that. These guys are worrying me a bit because they have some pretty heavy ships, namely these two. But we'll see what they uh, decide to do. We do have more ships than them, so that's one advantage that we have. But yeah, let's pan out real quick. Canada is becoming ours very, very quickly. You guys can go ahead and besiege them. We're not going to fight that one today. We'll probably fight that next episode. Is there anything else I need to upgrade while I'm here? Uh, not sure if we want to continue along with this one. How are they doing, actually? Oh, they're already converted. We'll see, then. I don't know that it's worth having that. And... The Spanish 
are continuing to conquer the Cherokee, so that isn't going to look good for us. We may have to go to war with the Spanish after all. But we'll, uh, we'll see about that later. In the meantime, how is the capital? Okay. We need to upgrade some roads, but I think we're going to handle the rest of this next time. Because I'd like to keep these episodes shorter if I can. So, I think we did our fair bit of conquering for today. I'll go ahead and break it off here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like and subscribe. Please feel free to share my videos however you guys see fit. And I will see you guys back here for the next part of our Total War Empire Let's Play. Empire Total War Let's Play.